Okay, today is April the 8th, 2016, and at 11.25 in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 53 degrees. The relative humidity is 99%. The dew point is 53 degrees, and the barometric pressure is steady at 29.95 at 11 p.m., 11.25. All right, now we're watching the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. You can see an odd feature here. This is a man-made uh, feature. This is done with a radar. Uh, this is a channel of uh, dry air. It's a uh, high pressure zone and nothing will get past the zone. And we can see that happening here. We have a, a, a storm front right here and that is advancing very, very slowly uh, to the east, but it's not getting past this, uh, this dry air channel, which has been built in because we've got a, a low pressure right here. And we've got moisture swirling around this. And we also have another area developing right here over uh, Las Vegas, which appears to be a blown apart right as it moves into Las Vegas, right there where the tip of the pen is. All right, so we have a transmitter that is not only uh, building this out, but we have it's, it's focusing right on top of that core as it spins counterclockwise. And that's affecting the development of this system. We may not get much rain out of this either. This could be another, uh, you know, a 16th of an inch uh, rainmaker. We did get, we've had a total of seven 16ths of an inch of rain in the, in the uh, rain gauge today. So we had a uh, little more rain today than we did yesterday. Uh, I think we had 0 0.16, 0 0.16 yesterday. Now we have seven 16ths of an inch, just under a half. So uh, we're grateful for that, but we need a, a hell of a lot more than that. All right, so let's take a look at some of these maps. We've got uh, the infrared map. We can see the effectiveness of that uh, channel that they've built in. That will keep uh, that will prevent these from emerging. These two systems from merging and, and creating a much larger uh, dangerous storm. All right. Uh, okay, let's look at the uh, jet stream map. We can see that there is a disruption up here. And we have a little bit of flow moving through Mexico, but out here we have uh, we've got those low pressure systems. We do still have a little bit of surface high pressure. We'll take a look at that. Here's the Western US water vapor loop. We can get a better view of that, uh, this channel of dry air that's been built in with the radar. That is very effective. We, this uh, moisture field is running right into that and uh, mushrooming right off the face of that that channel of dry air that's been built, and that's high pressure all through there. Heated air, it's very hot, and uh, the water vapor evaporates immediately. And we're just left with this uh, big channel here, and that is not allowing anything to cross. You also see that core trying to develop down here. There is a transmitter on that. We can actually see some clockwise rotation right on a couple of these frames, and that indicates uh, descending air right on top of that a transmitter right on top of that uh, core. <clears throat> You've got uh, heat focused right down on top of that core, descending here, and that's what we're having. A, we see a, a, some features there. We have uh, some clockwise movement right there on that core. Just in a couple of frames, you can see just a, a you know, some anomalies right there. Okay, let's look at the uh, infrared loop. And as this system wraps around, it's running right into that uh, channel of dry air right here. So this is very effective. This is acting just like a wall. Uh, they've engineered it to, to work just like a wall, and that's exactly what it's doing. Okay, let's look next at the uh, surface analysis map. And we can see the, uh, we've got a low pressure. This is 1,010 millibar. This is moving right in towards Southern California which is right here where the pen tip is. Uh, this is not going to be any kind of a great rainmaker, I don't think, unless they pull that transmitter off of that core and let it uh, spool up a little bit. Okay, so we do have high pressure still right out here in the uh, East Pacific, and that is uh, blocking this storm for the time being. We have that uh, channel I was uh, just showing everybody, that channel of dry air that's basically surrounded this uh, system here. This isn't really not accurate. This should extend all the way around. Okay. 
All right, so we've got uh, several low pressures. We have one, two, three, four all along the west coast. And then we have uh, this system here. This has two uh, lows. We've got a storm indicated here with this trough shown. That is 984 millibar. We have a 970, uh, 979 millibar system right here. And that is moving to the north according to the chart here. So we'll keep an eye on this system and see where it moves next. This may uh, bring some rain next Thursday, I, I believe is what they were saying. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, <clears throat> this is the sea level pressure. We can see the, uh, we have a high all through here, 1,015 millibar. And then we have a low right in the middle of that right here, 1,009 millibar. And this is what's going to move in tomorrow into uh, Southern California. All right. Let's look next at the 500 millibar. We can see that low right here. This is an upper level low. And here's the 300 millibar. So we, we could get a lot of rain, according to the people on TV. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, I hope we do get some rain because we're way behind. Okay, now here is the uh, SSEC uh, water vapor map. And we can see that uh, circular uh, channel. This, uh, this is all man-made. And uh, there are some chemtrails right out here being sprayed. And we'll take a look next. Right here we can see this core is developing. We have some evidence right here, clockwise rotation right here. And that is where the uh, we have this elongation of the core right here. This should be a nice tight spiral. We have uh, this distortion right here, which is creating this elongated uh, feature right here. And that is where this uh, area is, is spinning clockwise. And we're seeing what's happening. We've got flow moving in that direction when, in fact, everything should be moving in a tight counterclockwise spiral. Right there, we see that evidence. Okay. Anyhow, this is supposed to move in tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, we do see some evidence of chemtrail spraying right here. Let's take a look next at the, uh, this is the MODIS Today map. Looking at, uh, let's just pan around a little bit. They've completely blocked out uh, Southern California. Here's Las Vegas right down here, Colorado River area. Uh, <clears throat> we can see the chemtrail uh, haze. We have some uh, real clouds down here under this uh, haze that's been sprayed. We can see some of these lines up over here. So they've got a blanket of chemtrails out here over uh, Arizona and Nevada. And then we pan down further into Arizona. There's just nothing here. We go out to the west. They've got the entire Southern California area blocked off. We can see enough here. We can see the chemtrail haze right here, all this stuff. And we can see uh, some real clouds that are buried under the under this blanket of chemtrails. We have some real clouds right here. And then we have this blanket right over here. It's all chemtrails. You can see that all of this here is all chemtrail haze. All right, so they've got the tops of these uh, natural clouds completely blanketed offshore, and they've hidden a good part of that detail. Uh, here's San Diego right here. We just go north. They've got everything blocked out all the way up until uh, Central California. Here's Monterey way up over here. Anyhow, that, that, that's it. That's the summary. So uh, they're still out spraying, and that's why we're not getting any, uh, you know, any kind of really significant rain. We've had seven sixteenths of an inch, but uh, that's just not going to cut it. So uh, we'll see what they uh, deliver next. All right, we'll do another one tomorrow.